Paul, 1994, driving those Mercedes pushrod engines. What was that like compared to what you're driving at the moment? Well, it's totally different. Th those cars were so fast, it was incredible. We'd go down the back straightaway into turn three at 242 miles an hour, 243. And uh, averaging, you know, 235, 236 average lap. And uh, I lost it once in qualifying. I tried, we had to lift in that car because it was so wicked fast down the straightaway. You just couldn't take the turn flat. And, and you can ask your old engineer, Nigel, we, we put on a bigger stagger set of tires one uh, the day before qualifying. And I, I got flat through one and we had a bit of a tailwind. Uh, down into three and I thought oh, I'm gonna take it flat and I went through there flat and it went loose on me and I lost it and hit the wall and went to sleep and uh, missed qualifying the next day and had to qualify the next week so I was uh, the old Penske team wasn't too happy well that's funny we were actually just talking about that we we're talking about that engine now talking about your qualifying run <laughs> but you were the guy to do it you're the guy who goes out and uh, goes flat before anyone else does um 2002 uh some people would say that you run the race others i don't know um what's your take on that well i mean nobody has shown me any evidence that i haven't won it i've you know there's pictures out there of me ahead of helio with the green uh, before the yellow light came on with, with the green on and um, you know it's one of those things it was highly political and at that time there was it was in the height of the split between champ car and, and IRL and it's just one of those things if the yellow hadn't have come out if there wasn't a crash there was no doubt I was going to win the race but the way uh, the way my luck goes it's uh, it happens I guess mate Man, I don't understand why you haven't got a ride um, for a full season. You know, we miss Paul Tracy on the road courses. Why hasn't Vasta stepped up, got the cash, and have you run the full season? Well, I think it's just, uh, you know, it's frustrating. I think for everybody, I think it's it's just a combination of having having to find the cash to do it. You know, with the economy and the uncertainty of what was going on with the series, and I think, you know, a few things that happened over the last year and a half. It's been difficult to to find the money to do this. It's 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 expensive. Um, so it it's all about the budget now. So we just don't have the full budget, and that's just the way it is. Well, you've heard from Paul Tracy. I hope that he's not second while I'm leading on the last restart because uh, this guy knows how to go around the outside.